let's do some cones. Now, let me see if this makes sense to you. Prisms, cylinders, pyramids, cones. Same kind of pattern, right? Is that these are basically pyramids, but they have a circular base to them, so they get their own name, but they all get handled very similarly. Same thing about these guys is they're one-third of their partner's uh, volume. In other words, if I had a cylinder here and I put a cone inside of it, so here's my cone inside of it, that cone takes up exactly one-third of the volume of that cylinder. So uh, you're going to see me using those values. So we're looking here at, again, oh, hey, I didn't change this. Let's change this. This should say cones, right? <clears throat> Calculating volume of cones, and we are on worksheet number five. So let's do that. Let's just go through these. Much easier than uh, our pyramid friends because the bases are so much simpler. But here we go. Volume is one third B, area of the base times the height. One third of pi R squared. H. Now isn't this nice? Uh, look how clean that is. And so we get, it uh, looks like 27 pi centimeters cubed. Nicely done there. The next ones missing are R. These are common little tricks I'm trying to show you. But you notice this is a right triangle. And so we would do R squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. And with a little bit of math you get 8. So now we're ready to say volume is one third B, H, and we get one-third. The base now is pi, R squared, and the height is 15. And so we take 64 and multiply it by 15 and divide by, oops, I got a, an error here, 15 times 64 and divide by 3, and I get 320 pi centimeters cubed. And the next one also has some missing information. What's my radius and what's my height? But there's a 30, 60, 90 triangle here. A nice little reminder of that relationship. So this is the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90. So half of that would be our radius. And then we multiply by 4 or by root 3 to get the height there. So now we're ready to go. Volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height. One-third, now the area of the base is pi r squared, and then the height is 4 root 3. Now this is not going to be quite as pretty a number. This is 64 root 3 pi all over 3. And uh, could we reduce that or simplify that? We could put it as a mixed, but it isn't going to be pretty. That's just our guy right there. Welcome to mathematics. All right, one more uh, to do here. Um, this guy here is uh, just all it is is a composite of two things. It's the cylinder added to the volume of the cone. Um, so the cylinder is one base uh, times its height. So it's pi r squared h. Um, pi r squared, yeah, and then times the height, and then we would add that to one third b h, and it would be one third, and so the b would be the same, pi r squared, and then its height is 8. And so we get, let's see, 24 pi there, and so we take 24 pi, and this number up here is 90 pi. Maybe I should just make that 90 pi so I have it. And I take my 90 pi and I add it to my 24 pi and I get 114 pi centimeters cubed. And I created the volume of some sort of um, farming uh, storage unit or I'm not sure, but it looks like something like that. Go get the cones. They're fun. Much easier than the last group.